Hello everyone. I wanted to. Uh, this is Gil. I wanted to uh, show show some changes that I was trying to do to improve 3D object creation. Um, so to kind of show how things work, if you just for a refresher, this is the normal green grid that you would see, which is kind of like what I call the ground plane. Um, I'm going to go change this grid to more of a red color. Then I'm going to add another grid and let me make it the same width and I'll leave that as green since green just matches the color arrow of the y-axis and then I'll add a third grid line and this guy I'm going to rotate 90 degrees and then I'm going to make him blue to match the z-axis coloring So there we have the three, what I'd call three planes. So red is the X, Z plane, so that's X and Z. Green is like Y and X, and then blue is Z and Y. So whenever you place an object in 3D, it's always going to be placed on one of these planes. And typically, this, I'm running 23. 2023.10, and the way current things are currently designed, um, it depends on the actual model you're placing. Like a model like an arch, I was always using, I have it designed so that it always tries to draw an arch on that red ground plane. And that's because that's the ground, and typically arches are placed on the ground, so it's always trying to intersect to the ground. Well, the problem is not everyone... Not everyone knows that, that that's the plane that I'm trying to intersect with. And if you rotate your view so that plane's like that, and then you try to draw, I mean, look at that. It's like it drew that thing way out there in front of me, you know, all messed up because it's trying to intersect with that plane, and that plane is perpendicular to your screen. Same thing if you rotate sideways here. You know, it, it can't use the green or the red plane because they're perpendicular to the screen. And trying to draw anything here is just a big mess. So that was the thing I was trying to fix. Uh, the other thing is, let's see, if you turn sideways here and you go to draw an arch, you know, it's going to do that. Um, let's see, trees. Trees aren't too bad if you're sideways. Trees always draw on the ground. Now, if you have a single line, single lines are going to draw on that green plane because it's it's always looking for the the uh, x y plane for where the green draws. But then, what if someone rotates their display like this? I mean, I've even tried this, but see, it's like it's not happy because it can't find the intersection with that plane. And things can end up way in outer space. In fact, it's way back there. So that was that was the uh, thing I was trying to improve. Let me delete all these models. And I'm going to save this so I have my grids. And then I'm going to open up the debug version of Xlights that I'm working on to show what I'm... This is already code I checked in this morning. So it'll be in 2023.12. So now what I've done is, is I, I have a preferred ground, I mean, I have a preferred intersection plane for when you go to place a model like here. It's still going to try to draw that on the ground. But if you rotate your screen up like this and then try to draw an arch, I'm going to switch to that green plane and say, okay, well, I can't intersect with that red plane, so I'm just going to draw it on that green plane. So that's where your model will end up. And here's the other thing is if you turn sideways like this and go to draw an arch, now you'll end up with an arch that's perpendicular to the front of the screen. So you could, you know, you have to go past 45 degrees to get to do that. So you could come over here and draw one down here and then have two arches that are 90 degrees from each other. Um, same thing with like a single line. So a single line is going to draw like it used to on that green XY plane. 
except if you rotate up, I've, I've got it set so that if you get within 10 degrees of this plane being perpendicular to the screen, and you go to draw the line, it's going to select that ground plane. So it switches which intersection plane it uses to draw the model, because I, I have to pick somewhere on the screen. I don't know how deep you want the model to go when I'm you know, calculating where your cursor is pointing into the screen. So I have to pick one of these three planes. And then if you line it up like this, where neither one of those, those two is square with the screen, can't get perfect, but as long as it's within 10 degrees, now it's going to pick that blue plane. So now you can draw the lines you know, perpendicular to the other way. So if you want to draw a line on the ground, all you got to do is rotate your view up, and then you could, you know, do like that. And now you got a line that's on the ground. If you want it to be up in the air, it's going to be on that green XY plane. So normally you guys don't have these other grids, so you don't see where the intersection plane is. But this is kind of teaching you how things work. So if you have a tree, trees, we always want to populate a tree from the ground. I did notice a bug with trees. I call it a bug. It's in the current version as well, I believe. If you go draw a tree, there's a weird thing that if you if you go down low, the tree starts like submarining underneath. <laughs> you know, normally it, it does like a scaling from the ground, but if you go below the plane, it starts to sink because the size will never shrink below that. So that's something I might want to look into fixing, but I'm, that's not fixed as of uh, as of now. If you turn all the way around to the back side and go to draw an arch, same thing, it's going to still be able to draw. So no matter which angle you rotate your screen, the model is going to figure out the best way to draw it. So if I make it so that neither one of the green or reds is good, it's going to say, okay, I'll just draw it up there on that blue plane. So it's always going to draw up in front of you on one of those three planes. And hopefully that that'll fix some of the problems with, with creating models in 3D. Um, there's, some, there's some other ideas I have that I'm going to work on, but you know, I saw someone having trouble and I wanted to try to make an improvement. Um, one thing that is a little strange I will point out is like if you're drawing a tree from this angle, it's like the scaling the X, X is still to the front, so you got to move this way to make it bigger. If you move on this side, it's going to be smaller. But it's never going to go. Same thing, it'll submarine if you have below the plane. That's just one thing to look out for. But still, if you're, if you're at a weird angle in your view like this, it's still going to draw it up in front of you and not going to draw it like way back in outer space in front or behind you like it, it's, it was doing in the previous version. So I just wanted to wanted to show uh, how that's going to work now and some of the uh, improvements I was trying to make to uh, model creation. So uh, that'll be in 2023.12, uh, I believe.